This is a demonstration of the MicroParse program, which is for the iPhone, for uh, drill and practice software for New Testament Greek. And uh, the first time that you run it, it comes up with this screen, which uh, sort of forces you to go to the options screen because it needs to know what it is you want to do. And here you can see the four activities. Uh, they have a vocabulary, which is pretty much just traditional flashcard. But where the program is really good is for nouns and verbs and participles. So we're going to do nouns first just to see what the program is like. And you can see down here that it has uh, the words arranged in uh, chapters of sorts. Um, those chapters are uh, match a very popular book. You can see it has nominative and accusative and genitive and dative. And it goes, you can set the start chapter and the end chapter. So like if I set it like this, it's going to test words in genitive and dative through the third declension chapter. So it's got more third declensions, autos, the demonstrative, and the relative pronouns. So since I want to have a good chance of getting these right, I'm going to just set it to do only the nominative and accusative. And we'll click up here and it'll go to the activity. So you can see it puts the word up here. And uh, this is a very uh, fortunate thing here. I can show you a feature right off the bat. Um, this is, of course, uh, nominative and accusative. and uh, it's plural neuter. But if I didn't know that and I just thought it was nominative, I just check what I think it is. Nominative, plural, neuter. And then I say to check the answer. And it says the case is correct but needs more. So there's a couple of ways that this will give feedback. If you select too many things, I'll put the case correct. And then I'll select both singular and plural it'll say it has too many selected. So it gives you some feedback to kind of guide you to the right answer. And when you get the right answer, it says you can either put this card back in the deck, and that just means it'll come up again, or you can say you're done with this word and it won't check it again until you've reached all the end of the list and gone through all the words. So it just keeps uh, putting up words. Here we have graphene, which is accusative, singular, feminine. So you check the answer, put back in the deck. You can see down here at the bottom it has a progress meter so you can tell how far along you are in the exercises through the, through the set of words. Okay, so that's what the nouns look like. Uh, it also does verbs. It's very similar. You can select your chapter range and, uh, and then it will ask you to check out all these parts, the, the, uh, the tense and the uh, mood, and voice, and uh, person, and singular plural. So it goes through pretty much the same way, and the participles work the same way also. You got present, ARS, perfect. The participles ask you all of what you need to know about participles. So that's uh, that's the the main part of it. I put the vocabulary in just because I thought it would be easy to to make that work. I did this by the number of times the word appears in the New Testament. I took that from Metzger's list. So if you want to check the words that occur 700 to 1499 times, you just do this. And this is just a traditional flashcard approach. So it just puts up the word on the, some of these prepositions. It asks you, you know, this is, means different things if it's with the genitive or something else. So uh, when you say check answer, it just puts the definition up for you. And then you can say you put back in the deck or you're done with this word. So that's MicroParse. Uh, there's a little information screen that tells you how to fill out the check boxes and uh, what happens when you answer correctly. But uh, that's the product and I hope that it's useful for you. I uh, found it greatly helpful when I was learning the Greek and, uh, and I hope you find it helpful also.